I recreate a scene from the animated film The Boy and the Heron. Miyazaki has once again captivated the world with his charming animated film, but how does he meant to do it? To uncover all of his secrets, I spent several weeks searching for every possible piece of information from his films, interviews, articles and reviews. I found the keys to Miyazaki's magical secrets and used them to recreate one of the scenes on a sheet of paper. After long weeks of searching, structuring and analyzing information, I was able to identify three fundamental components of Miyazaki's artistic style that are present in all of his work. First, symbolism of nature. Hayao Miyazaki has a unique approach to the visual and symbolic elements of his animated films. Miyazaki often incorporates magical and fantastical elements of nature into his works, which serve not only a vibrant background, but also as important narrative and symbolic tools. For instance, in Princess Mononoke, Ashitaka encounters the fourth spirit, a giant deer shot by a bullet. This shot serves as a symbol of the impact of industry and technology of nature. The scene as a whole symbolizes the conflict between humanity and nature. Another example is Spirited Away. The scene where Chihiro crosses the Spirit River symbolizes her transition to another world and the beginning of her transformation. The use of symbolism helps Miyazaki create more profound narratives emphasizing the interconnectedness between humans and surrounding environment. Now I will draw a sketch using natural symbolism. In this scene, two characters are running through the grass near the ocean. The water is a mirror of the main character's soul. Usually, the ocean symbolizes tranquility and reconciliation, but at the same time, its restless state indicates a storm of emotions which the main character is feeling at that moment. Let's draw this. Second component – details and environment. Miyazaki pays special attention to details in the surrounding environment. Just look at the frames and notice the level of detail. From the Chinese elements of nature to architectural features, each detail is crafted with love and care. This imparts depth and realism to his films. The backgrounds in the works often resemble real paintings, where every stone, tree or building has its own character. Now I will add more details to our sketch using this artistic approach. Final component – Harmony of Colors Miyazaki skillfully utilizes color in his animated films, achieving two main objectives. First, to create a unique atmosphere. To achieve this, he employs harmonious and balanced color schemes that contribute to a pleasant visual experience in each film. For example, in House Moving Castle, characterized by wheat, saturated colors such as blue, gold, orange and green. This creates an impression of fantasy and magic, emphasizing the enchanted nature of the castle and characters. In My Nage Bor Totoro, predominantly features pastel and soft colors, such as a light pink, blue and beige. This palette establishes a childhood atmosphere, height lighting, carefreeness and lightness. Second, color symbolism. This technique helps him emphasize the mood of scenes, from bright colors in moments of joy to darker and more subdued shades in more serious moments. For example, in Spirit Away, the colors in the lively scenes of Haka's flight are bright and saturated, while moments of sadness they are mute and cool. No, don't leave me! I don't want to be alone! Now I will start coloring our drawing. I will be using acrylic paints to bring out vibrant shades. You will soon notice how with addition of the last component the entire scene will come to life, capturing the enchantment of Hayao Miyazaki creativity.
that left is to outline the contours with a liner to add expressiveness to the drawing. If you enjoyed the video, please like and comment and let me know who I should draw next. Bye! Thank you.